What's up guys? I know there hasn't been a video in a couple of days. I've been pretty busy with work and I'm pretty tired, but we're going to get through uh, one episode of Your Castles for today and then hopefully tomorrow when I wake up I can uh, start to record some more and at least get a few more videos out so uh, you guys have some Mighty Quest content and I might do some forest content as well. There was a new update then. I was already planning on playing it, but uh, yeah, I've been pretty busy the last couple of days. So we're going to jump into this castle, uh, Barbos Sold Ragos, uh, castle levels of 30, validated on this mage here. Uh, so let's jump into it. Alright. Watch and learn. haven't really been able to tweak my castle, so the replay day is going to be kind of delayed as well. Um... Because obviously I need to do a lot more changing before it becomes a winning castle. It's kind of like that with most castles, but yeah. Alright, so we have um, a Stairmaster room. Uh, I, I feel like the Stairmasters just aren't what they used to be. They're also level 24, so you, you have an upgrade available to them. Um, but I don't know. In my opinion, they're just not what they used to be. They might still be okay. I would have to play around with them a little bit, but they reduce their damage and like... I don't know, I think they reduce something else as well, but either way, the damage is the big thing. Um, they used to be kind of that one unit that you could go to for extra, for like, sure damage, basically. Um, you'd at least get hit with like two ticks of damage or something like that, while most other things you can avoid. So with Jelly Walls, if I can just get them to drop, I will just back off a little bit. I do this in almost every castle I attack because they're they're just weak this way, you know? They just don't do what they're supposed to do. So now they're going to go away and I can just walk through this. There's actually a lot of, um, a lot of, what do you call it there, um, springboard traps. That's actually quite a few, you can't really just get over that. I guess I could have kited across them though. I actually don't have any potions, so that's going to be a problem. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get through this or not. I'll have to be very careful. This actually seems very similar to a castle that I built. <laughs> Now that I see this room, um, this is almost exactly the last th these last two rooms at least. I don't remember if my first one was a linear corridor like that. It might have been though. Um, either way, your stairmasters definitely need an upgrade, for sure. And like this was pre stairmaster change also, so I'm not sure that it'll work uh, exactly the same. But yeah, this room is something that I kind of just made up and it sort of worked out. I don't know why that guy's still linked. I wish there was like a trigger that you could tell your creatures to be to like run away or not run away, like ever. Just make it so that they don't get afraid ever, because I would use that quite a bit. I actually think it makes them weaker. And they added it as an AI improvement, it just not, is not that good. So two dampeners here. I think I killed both of them though. Yeah, I mean these are good rooms for Stairmasters, they just do quite a bit less damage. They said that the fact that they got, got really strong at level uh, 28 and 30. Or no, just 28. There's no 30, 32 upgrade anymore. At level 28, it used to get a lot stronger. Basically, they did 10x damage, and they said that was kind of a bug. Um, but I thought it was intended. I think everybody thought it was intended, because that was their tier 4. And I don't know, maybe way back when that was intended by the developers as well, but they just kind of forgot about it or something, I don't know. But either way, they, they reduced the damage quite a bit on at level 28, so... But they made it so that they can stack together. Alright, so that's the end of the castle. It's very similar to the one that I, I built uh, before the last balance patch. And it worked out pretty well for me, so once you get your Stairmasters upgraded, I'd be interested to hear how, uh, how it fares against people. But as you can see right now with the low-level Stairmasters, I didn't even have to use a potion. I didn't even start with any, but yeah, I'm gonna grab some potions for the next castle, and we will uh, jump into that. Obviously, I got timed out. Alright, so we'll jump into number two in just a second. Alright, next up we have Spooky Pickle, Castles of 21. Uh, validated probably on this mage here. You can take a look at his stats there. Uh, so let's jump into it and take a look at what he's got. It was uh, created four days ago. Obviously, this is gonna be fairly easy because I'm quite high level. This is a new theme that I haven't seen before actually, I'm pretty sure. Maybe it's just winter, but that, that drawbridge looked really cool, that's why I was saying it. I don't know if they visual, visually updated or something, but this draw, drawbridge, looks, drawbridge looks really cool. I haven't seen that before, but a after that it kind of just looks like the winter theme. There's bones around that 
weren't there before. I don't know if they just updated this or what. It's pretty cool though. Alright, so I'm gonna kinda just look around for mines. Most likely there aren't any, and it's just a time waster, but I'll look for them either way. A lot of the times if I'm just attacking a castle for loot, and I kind of start going the correct way that it seems like the correct, that's the correct way for the castle, I just try to rush to the, to the end as quickly as possible and uh, just get two stars that way. Because one way or another you're probably going to get timed out, and sometimes you'll get lucky and get three stars even when you don't explore things. But for viewer castles I tend to explore the entire castle so I don't miss anything. I don't want to lose out on that chance that like someone uses 200 defense points in an area of their castle that they don't have to, that the attacker doesn't have to walk through and I can just call them an idiot. I don't want to miss out on that opportunity so I have to go through their entire castle all the time. <laughs> Okay, so we have two of these IMAXs. They do a ton of damage, but um, there's nothing to force the person into them. So it's going to be really easy for them to either kite them back or just dodge these eyeballs, and it's going to be completely uh, wasteful. You have to force them to actually hit in order to use those type of Stairmasters or IMAXs. Because the projectiles are just way too slow. I haven't really found a good way of doing that yet. I've thought, you know, a bunch of hunger bots and Scorpios and trying to use it that way, as well as maybe some mouse wheels or something like that to just stun the person. Maybe, uh, what do you call them? Uh, springboard traps. Lots of puppeteers here. I'm guessing they're all on heal. Um, which is fine. But, oh no, they're all on resurrect. Actually, I don't think that that's that good. Uh, specifically because. Well, firstly, because. Puppeteers on Resurrect are actually really good up until people start getting all of their big AoE spells like Volley and uh, King Dragon Slash, and then Mage pretty much has AoE abilities uh, at the start of the game. But, you know, like pre-level 10, uh, Resurrect Puppeteers are really good. But uh, after that, they start to get less and less popular because of th that reason. You know, you can just Volley down everything. And then also, there's not many units here to be resurrected. The only thing that can be resurrected here are the puppeteer skeletons themselves. So they're not really getting that extra benefit out of them. I was expecting it to be healed so that they could he keep the, the uh, Snottingham alive as long as possible, but um, yeah, that wasn't the case. Uh, so either like add in more mobs so that they can be re they can resurrect things, or switch their um, switch their specialization, and then probably you'd want more support units in here either way. Like, rather than just puppeteers, you might want some damage dealing units also to help uh, help out the Snottingham. Alright, we will jump into number three in just a second. Alright, next up we have Harmonious Lex. I have went through his castle a couple times, I'm pretty sure. Validated on this archer here. Um, archer has slightly weaker gear than me, but fairly the same. He's got like, the biggest thing is 500 hit points, and then he's got maybe 80 DPS less, maybe a little bit more. 100, I don't know. I don't really know exactly what my DPS is at right now, but six days ago, we'll jump into this and see what he has inside of here. I'm still looking for like, those new ideas from this balance patch, but I really haven't found anything uh, that's all, that's that great. You know, I've been trying out new things. I know a couple people have been, you know, commenting on my castle, oh, I've seen you make better, better castles and stuff like that. You guys have to understand, like, I don't have another another account. This is what I use to test with as well. So when there's a balance patch, I'm going to be testing out things that are specifically, I don't know if they're going to work, but I'm testing things out. And I even say that when I'm building the castles, so you guys have to kind of understand that a lot of this stuff is, is just me testing. I could create a castle that will get win wins if I build it like everybody else. But if I'm going for new strategies and stuff like that, that stuff that hasn't been fleshed out um, completely, it's going to not be as hard as other castles that are just annoying to play against. All right, so here we have a ton of uh, a ton of these rotating flame traps. They're okay. They do okay damage, but I mean, I don't know. I think, I mean, I guess they deal damage where uh, ballistas will not deal damage. Like if there was just these being ballistas, I'd be able to run through them without taking anything. Here I've taken a, like a little bit of hit point damage. I've taken about 2,000 hit points worth of damage, which is all right. But for this amount of points, I'm not sure that it's worth it. That was bad. A wasted roll. All right, we'll go through here, and then I gotta buy time for my cooldowns. It looks like we have a a road, uh, mouse wheel room up in here, so um, I'll probably have to use a potion right now. Whoops, that was not the potion hotkey. 
All right, and then I'm going to wait for the cooldown to come down, come back a little bit so I don't get stuck without a potion use when I go inside of that room. Um, while I'm here, I actually could just volley inside of it, see if there's anything that I can hit uh, before I go in. It looks like there's not. So a lot of the times when I see these rooms, uh, and I'm actually attacking a castle for, like, real, and I'm, try I'm not, like, trying to actually explore it and give advice and stuff like that, uh, a lot of the time, oh, that kills me. That's interesting. Um, a lot of the times I'll just skip these rooms completely be and just not worry about that third star. Not worry about the mines. Um, so the Jimbo's pretty good here, obviously. If you fight inside of this room, like I said, a lot of people are not going to fight inside of this room. What they're going to do is just kill the mine. If they're going for the mines, they'll kill that mine. I'll come over here, I'll wait for this stupid Defendatron to take down its shield, kill this mine, and then I'll either go forward or go backwards and kite this outside of the room. Uh, which, in general, is usually the best option. And just get somewhere where it's a little bit more safe. And hope you don't uh, screw yourself over by auto-attacking when you're trying to move. The uh, elite vamps are okay. The, one, the other ones, I still think they're a little too weak. Someone was asking me, I think it might have been in one of my emails, why I don't use vamps. The elite ones are all right, um, but the three point ones don't don't have enough hit points. If you just volley and run around, you can uh, take very minimal damage. Um, I might die right here. Yeah, this is a pretty good castle. But again, like like uh, the mouse wheel room's already fleshed out. The only difference is that beginning part of the castle, which I guess the fact that you're able to kill someone in this castle. Um, while using those those rotating flame traps is something. I mean, there's there's at least something there. I would probably try it again without, you know, actually commenting on the on the castle itself, like without giving advice and talking through it, seeing how much of this I can actually dodge, and I could probably finish it with a, a few a few potions alive. Um, I don't have enough gold to actually finish this off, so I'll probably just end here because um, I'm not just going to start over and redo it. Although I could do it without talking, but uh, that's going to be a lot more boring for people. So. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a fine castle. The beginning, it, it works. It makes me not want to kite things backwards. So I guess that's kind of what you're going for. The Probably the only weakness really to this castle is like what I was talking about. If you go through it, and then you just rush past the, uh, the mouse wheel room. If you just go past it and don't even worry about those two mines, and just kill off the boss room. It's basically just uh, all in the boss room strategy, just a lot less defense points in the boss room. You'll still have at least three potions to... Uh, to get through the boss room with, and then you just kill everything there. It's still not going to be like an auto win because obviously, if you get set up with like a uh, webmaster hitting you and then a Zeke shooting you down, um, that will probably kill some archers that aren't ready for that. You know, they'll hit. They have too low a hit points. Same as mages, they have too low a hit points to uh, get through like two Zeke shots and a webmaster hit if they're already a little low life. So uh, it's a good castle. Um, we're going to end the video here, so as always, if you guys enjoyed, I do please subscribe. Um, we'll get some more videos coming out a little bit more regularly now. I have a few days off so I can record a bunch. Um, what else? If you want to be a part of your cast, you can email me at frenzycastleruns at hotmail.com. Uh, level 20 and above, I'm still going to take only level 20 and above, even though I only have two castles more to run through. Or two, not two castles, but two episodes to run through, and then I'm out of castles again, so... Uh, I just updated my list today, so if people want me to run their new, newly built castles off of the the, uh, the balance patch, if you have any, anything good, just throw me an email and I'll, I'll run it when I have time. Um, that's pretty much it, so thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.